According to the Deputy Premier, the rules set by the local authorities and the Fire and Rescue Department were clear that safety standards must be complied with by all parties for the safety of Tafis students and teachers. Dasar pendidikan Mak Tafis. Dan ini harus diikuti. Walaupun dianya berbentuk sementara atau berbentuk kekal, dianya harus diikuti. Pertamanya, ciri-ciri keselamatan sebagaimana yang ditentukan oleh pihak berkuasa tempatan dan juga Jabatan Bomber dan Penyelamat mesti dan wajib diikuti. Yang keduanya, dengan tidak berhajat untuk capur tangan di dalam hal ehwal pendidikan agama yang di bawah kerajaan negeri atau mana-mana pihak berkuasa di peringkat negeri. Maka kita ingin memberikan pandangan agar piawaian yang telah ditentukan melalui dasar pendidikan Mak Tafil ini dipatuhi sepenuhnya. Malah Jabatan Bomba dan Selamat juga telah menyediakan latihan khusus agar Mak Tafil ini dan sekolah-sekolah agama rakyat mengujukkan pasukan bomba sukarelawan masing-masing. Datuk Seri Zahid, who is also Home Minister, added that the main concern now is to identify the victims as all the bodies were charged beyond recognition. He also expressed sadness over today's fire incident and assured the victims' families that their welfare will be taken care of and all necessary support as well as assistance will be provided by the government. It is understood that the school was a temporary place for the students as well as permanent location for the school and hostel are currently under renovation. Earlier in Cebu, Datuk Sri Zahid said based on the preliminary reports, the school's management did not register the school with the education ministry and checks are being done to determine if the school was registered with the Federal Territory Islamic Religious Council or other related agencies. To avoid a recurrence of such incidents, he urged all privately run Tafi centres and religious schools to register with their respective states Islamic Religious Councils. To avoid a recurrence of such incidents, he urged all privately run Tafi centres and religious schools to register with their respective states' Islamic religious councils. To date, there are about 50,000 students at various Tafi centres nationwide.